All right, hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about the top 10 picks, or at least my top 10 picks, for Discord moderation bots. And it's worth noting before we get started that there's a lot of bots out there that have a lot of great moderation tools that also do things like give you the weather, provide you with different games for your members on your server to play. So just keep in mind that just because it does a lot of other stuff, doesn't mean that it's not a powerful bot for moderating your server and keeping people from spamming, harassing, and doing other nasty stuff. Uh, in fact, there's not a lot of moderation-specific bots running around anymore. They all do things like games, music, memes, and more. So the first one I'm going to take a look at here is the probot.io. Now, I originally picked this one up because I was trying to look for something that has some auto-moderation tools. And what that means is it does things like if someone tries to put spam their link to their Discord server all over the server or to their YouTube channel or Twitch, this will automatically delete it. And if they do it too much, it'll automatically ban them. And this thing has things like it's multilingual. It's got an autoresponder feature where you can set up auto responses when people ask questions. You got raid protection, auto moderation, and it's got a welcome system so you can make custom welcomes when people join or leave your server. Uh, they also have a slight game system where there's like a leveling system where you can log in and you can roll for points every day. And it gives you things like uh, a cool little background on your ProBot profile, but that's certainly not required and I don't really use it that much. It's got a music player built into it and you can also do some reaction rolls, although the better features of the reaction rolls are locked behind the premium package. Okay, so the next one up that we're going to take a look at is a multi-purpose utility bot called Yui. And this one, as I'm sure you can guess, is anime themed. And this one provides you with a whole lot of things. Auto rolls so that people can log into the server and they'll start with a roll. Uh, it allows you to do reaction rolls so people can assign their own fun rolls just for kicks. You've got logging so it logs all the actions that moderators would take on your server. It's got auto moderation actions. Moderation commands to ban people, temp ban people, all of those things on top of having some currency, some games, and some other utilities that you can use. So it's just kind of like a fun meme bot that also provides uh, some moderation features. Along with the whole list of utility bots that are anime themed, there's also one named after Zero Two. Very similar to the previous bot, it's got an economy, it's got games, it's got auto moderation, it's got moderation commands and tools, it logs things, it's got music, it's got auto rolls, a web dashboard, pretty much all the stuff that you would come to like and enjoy, and it also lets you fully customize the look and feel of the bot itself. You can kind of see here, there's a leveling system, so if you type and interact on the server, you can level up and that usually means that you can assign fancier and fancier ranks as people pop up in the leveling system. You've got high quality music and they very soon are going to have a comprehensive dashboard that allows you to customize and control everything. After that, we have probably one of the most expansive security bots that is available on Discord. One of two, actually. And that is Dinobot. And Dinobot has the ability to do everything from really fine-tuned uh, commands that allow you to like purge someone's spam messages, you got auto moderation, and there's a whole, well, let's just go through here. It's got auto moderation, it's got a control dashboard where you can configure everything. It's got custom commands, you can set up custom ranks, joinable ranks, announcements, AFK statuses, reminders that have automatic notifications. It's got spam protection, raid protection, Honestly, everything you'd possibly want when it comes to protecting your server from people spamming, raiding, and harassing each other is available with Dino. And it's got really powerful commands that let you really dial in and do like temp bans. You can mute people. You can give people warnings. All of those things are available with Dinobot. And they've also got some additional premium features. What are they offering for premium now? You can auto purge people. You can do feeds from Reddit voice text linking all these fancy stuff if you want it but most of the features that you really need for security are available for free 
Now, I know there's a lot of people who kind of do and kind of don't like Mi6. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards I don't like it anymore. But Mi6 is a tool that allows you to do leveling. It has some roll control. It's got an easy to use dashboard. It's got a music player. You can do self-assigned roles through the level up system. All of those things are in here. It does logging, it does auto moderation. It does some moderation tools and commands. However, my gripe with this particular system is that some of the better features, even the simple better features that you would think would be free are now locked behind premium. So only the most basic security features are still available for free through Mi6. And so much like, so the next bot, much like our other two anime themed utility bots is Nekotina. This one is not primarily English based, so you might have some issues using it if you're not primarily a Spanish speaker, but it ranks very highly with a lot of people as to a very strong utility bot that has some moderation tools. It's again, anime themed, so you can make your own little anime cat girl profile pictures. You can post memes, you've got some games, there's an economy, it's got some basic auto moderation logging tools and a few commands that make it very useful if you want to have a utility bot that has games and also have some basic utility for moderating people automatically. But again, it's not primarily in English, so you may have some issues if you're not good with Spanish or Google Translate. The next one up on our list is Carlbot. This is the other really heavily like based around security bot that has a whole load of stuff that makes it a nightmare for anyone who's trying to spam who's trying to harass people, who's trying to post their links, pretty much any of that stuff, raids, that sort of thing, this bot can cover you and prevent it. It's got reaction roles, it logs literally everything, it's got powerful moderation, auto mods, mod commands, automatic warnings, notifications, things that keep an eye on things like raiding. It can do suggestions to help you improve your server. It's got a fine-tuned permission system so that you can give other people some of the moderation powers and understand exactly what you're giving them and why. It's got auto moderation like I was mentioning. You can make your own custom commands. It's got a custom welcome messages and user engagement. All of those things are built into this and it's for the low, low price of free. And I think there it does have a, a premium feature, so let's see what premium gets you. So a premium looks like it gives you some of the more fringe benefits of having reaction roles, having some auto feeds, levels, basically the types of perks that you'd want from like a utility bot built on top of a really powerful security bot. But it looks like all of the big time security features are still free. So that's actually really good to know. After Carl bot, we've got Tatsu. This is again, another sort of like video game themed anime utility bot. It gives you a lot of custom games. You've got pets. You can build your own house. you got custom profiles, profile cards, create your own store for the in-game economy, leaderboards, and it also has some auto moderation tools, mod tools, commands, and I think it also logs, far as I know. And then after that, this is actually kind of neat. You can actually build your own little house out of a pixel art setup. So if you want one that does games, this might actually be the one that is the most unique and usable for a lot of people. After that, we've got Arcane. This is a multi-purpose bot that does everything from, let's see here. Oh, here it is. So this one's got leveling, voice controls to kind of auto level everyone's voice, reaction rolls. Oh yeah, this even does voice activity calibrations. That's kind of neat. Reaction roles, YouTube notifications to auto post your YouTube channels whenever they get stuff added. They got advanced logging, moderation, custom commands. So a fairly powerful tool, although it's a little bit more on the simple side. It doesn't have like a bunch of games or anything, just leveling, which a lot of bots have. So if you want that one, it's available. What do they provide you with premium? Premium, you get two premium servers for $5 a month. And what does it get you? Customizable XP system, extended logging, unlimited booster roles, unlimited reaction roles. Okay, so just sign up some cosmetic benefits of an improved leveling system, more logging, and some different role controls. That's not bad. 
and custom backgrounds. So not locking away the most useful commands and controls. That's always nice to see. And then we've got YAGPDB bot, which is another, yet another general purpose Discord bot. And this bot is kind of like Me6. It's got some feeds that you can auto post like the newest information from different places, self-assigned roles, auto moderator, custom commands, general moderation, cat facts, and some various other fun utilities like it'll auto post people who go live on Twitch and YouTube. You can put in advanced moderator commands. You can mute people, temp ban people, all of those things. And I believe it also has some auto. So it does self assign roles, but I know it also provides things like auto roles when people first log into your server. And I believe most of this is available without having to own premium. In fact, it won't even let me see what's available for premium without logging in. So I won't do that right now but you've got a lot of options and you can kind of try them out for yourself so that you know which one works best for you because you never know. Like you might like this thing's like general moderation commands, but it's other, you know, auto mods, leveling system, self-assigned roles might suck. And then you might want to use like Carlbot for the heavy stuff and then Zero Two for like the anime game stuff. You don't have to limit yourself to just one. Most of the features of all of these bots are available for the low, low price of absolutely free. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. These have been my picks for the top 10 Discord moderation and security bots. I hope you find this helpful. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one. And I'll also probably get some guides and some tutorials up on how to use some of these bots in the not-too-distant future.